Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. My name is Brie, just in case if you don't know me. But for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Fly Brushes and also Liberty Aria Cosmetics. Well, technically, it's not really much of a review for this because I'm just going to let y'all know this now. I love it. <laughs> I use this all the time. My friend Tanea, this is her brand, Liberty Aria Cosmetics. I love it. You guys better go check her out. I'll leave all her information down below. But for today, I'm actually going to be trying these out. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you again. <laughs> I already used these before. And again, I do love them. But I'd rather do a tutorial showing you guys which brushes I use um, and why I use them. So yeah, that's why I called this a review. And you can also see how well they um, apply the makeup onto my face and my eyes. So, yeah. But I'll leave her everything for fly brushes. I'll leave their information down below as well. I'm so excited um, to do this finally because I've recorded this video so many times. But it's finally done. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notification bell as well. Period. But, yeah. Enjoy this video. Alright, so I had to secure the edges. Make sure that stays down while I start. Um, so, this is going to be kind of like a talking video. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but um, I, I was asked some questions, so I'm going to be answering those questions. These are from Instagram and also from this random questions that I've just been asked lately. So I'm like, I might as well do a video on it and then. And also I'm going to be reviewing. I'm, doing, I'm locking out a lot. And I never did a Q&A. Like, y'all kind of don't know me. I mean, some of y'all do, but not all of them. <laughs> but, yeah, so I wanted to do that uh, real quick while I'm doing my makeup. Cool. Okay, so um, I have a list of questions over here. So I'm trying to find a space where to put it. But, yeah, so I have... Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I have a list of questions over here. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. Um... If I zoom through them, then I'm just going to start talking about just things I feel like you guys should know about me. That makes sense. <laughs> or whatever. Uh, if I don't finish them, well, I'm going to finish them. But if I zoom through, just know I'm going to add some. Period. But yeah, let me see what I want to do first before I even start. So you guys, before I start, if you didn't watch the video where I did my unboxing, definitely look at that first, just so you can see how many brushes I have, um, just everything, just how the packaging looks. It's beautiful. I'll just give you a hint. I have 11 brushes, period. 11 brushes, y'all. I was so happy to receive this. Um, I was just so hyped. I just don't understand how hyped I was. <laughs> But yeah, so first I'm up. I'm about to prime my eyes. Usually, um, oops, my bad, y'all. Hold on. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Lately, I've been using um, what's this called? Warm honey. But today I'm gonna go back to toffee, just because the eyeshadow look I'm doing is very um simple. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do. I kind of wanted to match, like, you know, match my shirt. So, yeah. But I was going to spread that over my lid. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of the flat brushes and, yeah, blend it out. While I'm blending this out, I'm going to read a question. 
well, answer a question. <laughs> so the first question is, how did you start your business? So, um, I'm going to just start from the beginning. 2018, summer of 2018, so like around like my birthday, like July, I um, realized I wanted to start a business and I definitely wanted to be in beauty. I didn't know if I just wanted to sell like lip glosses, lashes, or what. But I just knew I wanted to do something. So I was like, you know what? What do I get complimented on the most? You know? And obviously, you could you can see <laughs> I have big eyes, so my eyes kind of like stand out majority of the time. And I just remember just hearing obviously to this day, but like, oh, like your lashes are so nice or, oh, your eyes are so pretty or your eyeshadow looks so cute or whatever. It just be something simple, but it's mainly would go towards like my eyes. So I was like, hmm, let me just do a look. I mean, do a look, do a, <laughs> do a business with lashes. This is the palette I'm using, just letting y'all know. But yeah, so I was like, all right, you know, let me just get into the lash business so i research a lot um about lashes how to start a lash brand and then i just start looking for vendors how to, like i even research like you know how to find vendors um what are vendors you know i need to i actually did a lot of research like learning the terminology of things because I will say, if I didn't know, like, what even the word vendor meant, I felt like I wouldn't know how to, like, search up certain things, you know? So, definitely, if you need advice, that's one of my advice. Research, always. Always research, period. So, yeah, so that I researched, I researched, I tried out a bunch of lashes. I had some of my friends try out lashes because it started to get a little too, like, kind of like overwhelming <laughs> so i had them trying on some and then i I had to pick out my name and i'm gonna lie to y'all ice mink was about to be eye candy yeah y'all but i changed it because i said i wanted something different i want something um that i know for a fact no one has so yeah so i'm like all right i you know with the the eye and then I wanted, because like when I think of mink, I think of mink coats. So I was like, oh, like, you know, it's cold outside. So like ice. I was like, ah, perfect. Now, a lot of people call it icy. And that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Let's cut that off. It's ice. Ice, not icy. It's ice. So, <laughs> yeah. But... Um, yeah, so I started that and then I did everything I needed to do, got my logo done, got everything done and boom, February of 2019, I dropped my brand and ever since been doing pretty well. Make sure y'all go check IceMinkLashes.com, <laughs> period. But, my bad, y'all my nose is, ooh. Okay, right, next question. Favorite memory? That's a hard question. I'm not gonna lie because I have too many memories in this big old head of mine. So I'll say a recent, not recent, recent, but I mean it's like a few months ago. My birthday, I feel like it was one of my favorite memories of 2020. Um y'all, that was that was such a great birthday. No matter, like, this whole thing, you know, with coronavirus and everything, it was amazing. Like, seriously. And I just think my boyfriend, my best friend, like, everyone who came out to, excuse me, celebrate with me, even though, like, things was all haywire. But at the end of the day, I still had fun, and it was mad chill. But I would say it was definitely one of, like, my favorite memories. And I never had that experience of like, you know, like go come into a hotel and it's like all decorated and all cute with like roses. And I always wanted that experience. So once I received it, I was just like, 
wow like I was so happy so yeah that was amazing my boyfriend killed it <laughs> but yeah so that was easy <laughs> um what inspired you to start a lash company so what ex inspired me like I said mainly it was like I knew I wanted to start a business um with beauty so because I love makeup I've been into makeup for a while now but I you know again like just from like the compliments I used to get from my eyes and I'm gonna lie to y'all I used to like um not say like bullied but I used to think I mean like kids will always make fun of you if you got like something bigger or even smaller than normal so my eyes was way bigger than how they are now like they're still big but they were like I feel like a little bit bigger like my bad y'all my phone died but anyway <laughs> um yeah it's like you know so my eyes were a little bit bigger while I was younger so I used to like be insecure about my eyes so when I started getting compliments I was like oh okay <laughs> so yeah I love everything about me now but I think um that's the main reason why I wanted to start Slash Brand just because again like I, it, it comes from a deeper place you know like man that's that's a whole different day for a whole different time <laughs> but next question is what made you want to start YouTube um so that's a good question what made me want to start is I think just seeing the opportunities that YouTube can give you when it comes to your brand, when it comes to your personal life. You know, I watch, I'm, I'm on YouTube every single day. Like no matter if it's to learn about something or to listen to music or whatever. All right, y'all, I'm back. Sorry, it keeps Bust it up. But anyway, I'm going to just go to the next question. And I'm not crying. My eyes just watering. I don't know what the heck is going on. But yeah. Next question. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I think I was answering this question. What made you start YouTube? Yeah. So, I was talking about how I love makeup. I love, like, looking at videos that inspire me. I listen to music all day. So, it's like, let me just start it. It's an opportunity. And I never know what it makes where where it may take me so yeah another question is how old are you i'm 23 period um another way is what inspires or motivates you to keep going after your goals um i'm so sorry i don't know why like i'm crying but let me just keep going so what inspires me or motivates me is like my past I guess you could say like things that I've went through even as a kid things that I've witnessed I don't want I don't want to ever witness them things again so it's like when it comes to uh anything and everything money when it comes to like family love that's what motivates me every day to go after my goals my goals have a lot to do with my future family. And I say this all the time, like, um, God willing that I'm able to have children. So I just want to be set or at least be like making some type of marks throughout my life that will help me, you know, with finances, with make sure that they're good um and whatever and that goes with future like my future self that goes with my future husband future kids like i just want to be set you know so that's why i always go over after my goals all the time <laughs> let me see the next question um how's life after college child anyway college had uh made me gain um not just weight but mental issues i'll say so i'm still trying to 
tackle them and get it together because your mental issues can actually stop you if you let the, let it um stop you from getting to your dreams or you know into your goals so i'm just every day just trying to do better i got a job so um my whole thing is i'm trying to make multiple i'm i need multiple streams of income i can't just have one thing so if that means having a job then that means having a job <laughs> but it's okay because i'm about to start something can't really talk about it uh i'm super excited for it and i'm about to make even more money you know so yeah like after these days after college there have been some sad times and some lit times <laughs> but y'all love this brush before i stop talking this brush is so good with foundation but anyway <laughs> um yeah i just i don't know i've just been having a pretty a pretty good after college life <laughs> so far so good next question is what's your long-term goals my long-term goals is to be happy for one to be wealthy for two <laughs> to own properties as well and you know every year i always say i want to learn something new so i'll say like with my long-term goals like in that aspect i just want to like keep learning something new but in like different areas like sometimes i'll be learning something new in business you know um sometimes i learn something new with hair but i want to start learning something new about like different cultures different places different things to do you know like at 23 years old <laughs> so yeah i want to like that's my long-term goal just to keep learning something new as well um i think that's about it you know <laughs> what else if you can travel anywhere in the world where would you go hold on y'all i'm trying to make sure i have my concealer um if i could travel anywhere in the world i want to go to so many places i want to go to bora bora period especially with my man <laughs> i want to go to dubai definitely any country well not any hmm, let me make sure i say this right majority of countries in africa definitely because one obviously i'm black but i want to learn more about cultures especially the ones of my descent so i would love to visit a a whole lot of countries in Africa and some of my family members have done like the 23 and me um thing so it's like I'm getting some insight I guess on like where I come from so I definitely want to do one as well like just for me it's like just to like compare it to everyone but that's a whole nother time <laughs> I'll do that but yeah what else where else I don't know like I don't know, maybe like France. <laughs> definitely Italy. I definitely want to visit Italy. I love Italian food. Oh, oh my God. But yeah, that's about it. What's the next question? Um, Favorite vacation? <laughs> favorite vacation? Uh, um, anytime I probably go to like disney world oh the cruise ah, lit that was in 2013 when i turned 16 that was my second time on a cruise oh my god that was lit and i went with my friend amira and it was like our families together it was so lit so yeah i think that was like my fave one uh hold on let me just fix finish this up I'm going to take a quick little break off of um, the questions and just talk about these brushes. Y'all, I'm looking at the monitor, my screen, not the camera. So 
don't mind me but it blends out everything so effortlessly first of all i'm like wow i love these brushes sometimes people be asking me now like oh my god like your foundation or your concealer like what do you use or what's i'm like little do they know i actually just changed the brush <laughs> i just changed the brushes and i feel like y'all have to invest into your brushes as well just as much as the makeup because y'all it's lit i'm telling you like definitely invest in your brushes especially um when it comes to your face brushes definitely well your eyeshadows too but i'm just saying like your face ones definitely because you want everything to be blended really well and you don't want a brush to like bristles is popping out like no this is like great quality and it blends everything out like effortlessly seriously so yeah all right cool back to the questions <laughs> and i'm almost done too so yeah um how long have you been into makeup how long have you been into well i, got, I get it <laughs> um i've been into makeup since i i, I, I don't know a long time <laughs> um literally i'll say like full face beat I, I started like doing my eyebrows and stuff the end of senior year of high school that's when it really started and i was like i'm not even gonna lie i was like if i'm going to college and i'm going to parties i need to be doing my own makeup and looking cute like i can't look regular i can't look like a little girl so i gotta start doing my makeup and i learned like throughout the what was that like i graduated in june so those two months i've just been learning um about makeup and learn how to apply lashes it was so funny y'all that's probably one of the funniest moments of me learning how to do makeup but so yeah i've been into makeup for i guess six years now like full face beat down beat down <laughs> okay <laughs> but full face beat yeah i'm like six years sorry so many people's get on ice make uh website right now so it's kept distracting me <laughs> but anyway i ain't complaining i ain't complaining <laughs> y'all look at this Ooh it off <laughs> but yeah um another question is what's was i not putting that one okay there we go. what's some advice you'll give to your younger self um okay i got different categories okay so the first one will be when it comes to dating um if the man say, or the guy, or the boy, <laughs> um, doesn't really show much effort, leave him alone. Period. Leave him alone. Don't, like, just don't fall for the okie doke. It's not worth it. Um, stay innocent as much as possible. And innocent, I'm not even talking about sex. I'm just talking about in general. Like, this goes to young girls who's watching me too. Like, stay innocent could just be like, stop, stop overthinking about your future and not living into, in your present. Because once you get older, you start looking back at your past and all you could think about is, oh, how uh i won't say dumb but extremely naive i was you know to certain things and it's just like why was i ever that naive when i'd be knowing these things you know so i don't know just don't be dumb and leave that boy alone <laughs> period also i'll say um, continue to love yourself. Be be understanding that you're not at your prime yet. So it's okay if 
Oh, wow. <laughs> it's okay if you um, don't. <laughs> it's okay if you don't, like, understand your full potential yet. Because, sis, you're lit. Seriously. You're really lit. So, that's something I would definitely tell myself. And, yeah, just continue loving yourself and continue being amazing volleyball player and stretch more <laughs> stretch 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 drink a lot of water and stretch period <laughs> but yeah that's basically what i would tell my younger self i'm trying to think what i want to do um i'll be right back i'm gonna put on my lashes and stuff because i can't talk while doing it so i'll be right back okay you guys so i'm back <laughs> But the last question is, have you ever been out of the country? Yes, I have. <laughs> so, my bad, I didn't know that this was so high up. All right. Whatever. <laughs> so, like I said, one of my favorite vacations was out of the country. Um, we went to Jamaica, Mexico, and Haiti. It was lit. But yeah, I'm using my Liberty Aria Cosmetics Lip Gloss. Amazing. Like, what? And it's all organic, all natural. So, yeah. Even more lit. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. So, today I didn't have on my robe, my infamous robe. But, um, yeah, I'm done. That's about it. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And share this on you guys' story. Um, or, you know, on Instagram. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Just please share so that more people can join this family. I don't know what I'm going to call y'all, but... You know, I got my ice baddies, you know, so if you're one of them, you already know. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's very simple. Um, I literally only use this palette, the Be Obsessed, um, Be Obsessed With palette by Makeup Obsession. Get it from Target for $10, period. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys, I hope you guys loved it. I'll be uploading very more so don't worry and also the next video it should be about the review on a brush cleanser so i'm so excited to do that but yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you later yeah, yeah.